Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And a moment now to check out who the Pelicans have coming up. On Saturday, the New York Knicks come to town, tipping off a homestand for them. Then on Monday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, the front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Memphis, in at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Santi Aldama is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Williams at the small forward. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. Now here's Williamson. And here's McCullough. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one's on Morant. I think the defense let up a little bit and thought C.J. was an easy cover inside, but he's too crafty. He gets the foul. So McCollum nails both of them. And just so good off the bounce. C.J. McCollum is as frustrating to cover as anyone. Yeah, but it's also, Greg, one of the players in the league that we appreciate the most. Because of the footwork, because of the fundamentals, maybe a little bit undersized, he finds ways to get it done with efficiency and effectiveness. Four on the clock. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Williams. Memphis moving that ball around. Now, here's Morant for three. It's good from long range. And when the three ball is falling for Morant, the defense is in trouble. And it's Williamson missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Morant scanning the floor. Bain passes to Jackson. Stolen by McCollum. On the wing, Jones. To the paint, Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find him. And so Morant will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Offensive screen, sit out of bounds. Pelican's ball. For New Orleans, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Williamson. Rebound by Williams. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Jackson a screen on McCollum. Teardrop shot, and Valanciunas pulls it down. And here we go. Fast break. Williamson's got it. Stolen by Jones. And here we go. Williamson heading to the oh! Oh! Lightning. That was incredible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The solo alley oop? <laughs> that, that's not something we see too often. Uh, Time perfectly. Caught the defense totally off guard. Timeout. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies teams. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. A chance to check out stats for Ingram. Great showing for him last season. Put up about 24 points per, six assists, and five rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. 
And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Alan Junis sets a screen for Williamson. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Morant with the bucket. Morant's got five. Moran using that quickness to his advantage. That time he gets that one to fall. McCollum against Morant. Ingram wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Bain kicks to Williams to the inside. And Morant throws it down. And the agility, the hops, Morant just explodes off the floor. The Pelicans have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Ingram outside. Williamson outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. Now Bain hasn't made one yet. Moran finds Jackson. And there's the pass to Bain. Six on the shot clock. A three-pointer off the mark. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. Williamson. And finished off by Williamson. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Morant. He's got seven. A shake. And finished off by Morant. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And it's Ingram missing. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Passes it to Eldama. Knocks down the three ball. It's like reading a picture book for Moran. He makes it look insanely easy. Williamson outside. It's not going to go for him. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. And Aldama slams it in. High-level passer. Even for a point guard, Morant shows the imagination. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in. <laughs> so the Pelican Five right now. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. Zion Williamson is out there with Trey Murphy. And it's Alvarado in at the point. And Morant throws it down. And you're just asking to get burned when you give Morant a lane, using that speed to his advantage. Here's Williamson, and Williamson throws it down. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. And Brent, remember that 2023 dunk contest? Trey Murphy made a strong showing going to the finals. Yeah, I love that he just got out there on that stage and showed what he could do. Kind of agility from a guy at his size with that kind of length, that functional coordination. Great to see him compete. Aldama, and Aldama slams it in. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. You saw he altered his release, allowing him to get around his defender and then laid it in. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Here's Morant. He's got 11. 
Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Here's Aldama. Oh, good on the three. New Orleans has gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Williamson with it, guarded now by Jackson. Jones against Bain. Jones, the pass to Williamson. Here's the screen. Aldama with the rebound. The Grizzlies shooting a pretty cool 37% from the floor in the second. Not what they're looking for. From outside the arc, the rebound by Brandon Ingram. New Orleans leading by 15. Williams with the steal. Payne looking around. Pass to Aldama. Williams in against Jackson. Six to shoot. Here's Morant. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Just superior focus for Moran. His determination is what allows him to convert through contact. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Williams in left side. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're big or small. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zion on the inside. from way outside and that would have counted but his uh, shot was off the mark this time and so we wrap up the first half Pelicans on top they lead by 14 live from a FedEx forum you're watching 2K Sports well their defense has been garbage giving up all those easy looks I could do better right now getting stops. At least there's some kind of... Now taking a closer look. Thanks for spending half time with... Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, C.J. McCollum has been exceptional here, guys. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. But you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Williams is out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Jackson in at the pivot, manning the middle. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. With New Orleans GA, you have to feel like the talent is there. It is, but they, they can't get ahead of themselves. They've won 50 games in a season only once in their history. You can't have playoff success until you prove you can survive the rigors of the regular season. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Allman. David? Thank you, Kevin. Brandon Ingram's work ethic has made him an all-star. He was in the Pelicans facility so much, they banned him on off days. He said, I hate it, but I use those off days to visualize the game. So what is he like? He says being called out. Players at this level think they're above that. Kevin? Not him. Hey, David, thanks. We all know Jaws' capability to fill it up, and he is showing it here tonight. McCollum finds Williamson. Back to McCollum. Williamson with a screen for McCollum. Inside. And the dunk by Williamson. Such an important part of Zion's improvement is setting good screens and then being available as a roller. Bain against Jones. Williams for three. Hands it from downtown. Williams has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Pelicans leading by 11. Here's Williamson. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And when Zion Williamson Brent is on the floor, he's one of the best players in the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, but we got to keep him on the floor. That's the way that not only Zion's going to improve, but this is the way this team has a pathway to the playoffs. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. 
You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Williamson up top, defended by Eldama. Here's Valanciunas. Kicks it out to Williamson. Pass to Jones. Back to Williamson. Second shot opportunity. Basket good. Williamson's got seven points for the quarter. And Zion absolutely on fire right now. The D looks helpless. Ball's knocked loose. Grant with a wide open look. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's McCollum. Another one falls for New Orleans. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score timeout, from timeout. the outside as well. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Hey, look now, it's a numbers for Jones how he performed last season. Last year averaged 10 points per game, four rebounds and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. Great for a franchise like Memphis, is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for New Orleans. Now an all-NBA caliber talent, Morant still feels like he has room to improve. Here's Ingram. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Ingram's got 12. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. They get the rebound. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the first of two straight at home. It's deflected. Morant right side. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Moran's got 11 in the second half. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And it's Williamson missing. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. There's a screen by Aldama. Here's Moran. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Williamson. There's the drive. And that one, good. We've seen Zion play that point forward very, very well. He's very adept at distributing. The Grizzlies trail by 11. There's the lob to Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. And how about the hands on Jackson? Makes a good target on that frame and then able to finish off the alley-oop. Screened by Valanciunas. Williamson with it. Parted now by Jackson. It seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked him. Aldama misses the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Williamson outside. From short range, and Valanciunas kicks to Williamson. Shot clock at six, feeds it to Ingram. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Just figuring out more and more how to find points and production from the free throw line. Ingram, a real pro at drawing fouls at this level. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. Jackson comes in for Santi Aldama. And Smart subbed in for Williams. And a change for the Pelicans. Trey Murphy's checked in for Herbert Jones. Jackson misses. Pelicans leading by 12. There's the pass to Williamson. Smart against Ingram. One sixteen left to play here in the third. 
Alvarado finds Williamson. They set the pick. Shoots over Morant. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. And third, the Grizzlies. Awesome rim protection from them last year, and it was because of one thing. They commit to intimidating anyone. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Outside, Bain. Clock at six. Off on the layup. Pelicans leading by three. McCollum outside. New Orleans moving it around. Count that bucket. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Outside, Bain. Jackson setting the pick here for Bain. And it's good for two. Bain's got seven points here in this quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Outside, Jones. Tries the spin move. And it's Williamson missing. The Grizzlies trail by three. Now here's Smart. To the middle. Here's Jackson. Good and Smart gets the assist. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but... Feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Down low. Stolen by Jackson. Inside. Again, Memphis. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Grizzlies. I like their defense today, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there, they've had active hands, they've been in great position. They've been smart attacking the offensive glass. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Santi Aldama's checked in for Jackson. Williams comes in for Luke Kennard. And it's John Morant in for Marcus Smart. Ingram, he's checked in for New Orleans. I now I'll send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. Willie Green had some words for his team during the break. Now he asked the defense to lock it down inside. He said, let's get physical. I don't want them to think we're soft in there. No more easy shots in the paint. So that's what the defense is set to do, guys. Thanks, David. Here's Williamson. Alan Jernis trying to free himself up. He's yet again. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got nine rebounds now tonight. Loads it up there for Bain. Throws down the alley and slam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. To the paint. It's stolen by Aldama. And it's Memphis on the break. Now, here's Moran for three. C.J. McCollum with the rebound. Pelicans trail by three. To the inside, Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Wow, you want to lead a franchise? This is how you do it, Zion. Coming through. Here's Moran. No good off the back of the rim. This possession gives them a chance to take the lead. Yeah, they don't want to let this one slip away. Williamson with it. Guarded now by Jackson. He goes up again. And it's Williamson missing. And Moran's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Nice move. that one 
Guys, a difference maker. And I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. That's a focus you just can't teach a young guy, Jones, showing he's got that kind of focused demeanor. There's 10 seconds left in the game. When they foul intentionally, they're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And that's an intentional foul. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. The confidence Moran has in himself is impressive. He brushes pressure off. Like it's nothing. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. And an intentional foul right there. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you... Thank you for that, David. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony.